<laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm sure Chillin would be down. <laughs> Chillin, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, he still does well at majors somehow. <laughs> He's pretty good, but... I feel like there's better players than him, I don't know. <laughs> I could be wrong. I mean, there are, but he's still he's still a strong strong enough player to where he can get consistent results. Yeah, relatively consistent. Like there's he's he's, he's going to be weak to certain things that are unknown to him. But yeah. for the most part, like he's really like of all the uh, big foxes, uh, he's pretty consistent against like Falcon, for example, and Ice Climbers. Yeah. So Why does he have the Falcon matchup? Do you happen to know? He, he's super good. Um, last time uh, he played Wizrobe, like, and this was Wizrobe after he already got Was that eight. Evo, I think? I remember that. No, it was at... Um, it was either... It was Big a House, I think. Big House, okay. And then he also beat Nun at, I think, Evo or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he beat Nun. Yeah, he does... He does really well against Falcon players. That's so uh, cool. And Icy's. So any of the, the big IC walls. Ice Climbers obviously make sense. Yeah. As far as Falcon goes, <laughs> who knows who we got that from. <laughs> Yeah, that's just years, I guess. Question. Yeah, just, I think it's just something over time and the matchup also being in his favor. Mm -hmm. But uh, I see is obviously from from Chu. Yeah. Anywho, we got um, a Yoshi versus a Falco, Yingling versus Kali. Um, Yingling, he's trying to get on the come up. He's trying to break under the PR, make yeah. HM or something this season. Oh yeah. Kali's already HM. Maybe he's trying to make PR. Who knows? Oh, probably. Yeah. Uh, no, they all. They all. <laughs> we all want PR. We all want all, that. We all want that number ten or nine spot. Yeah, <laughs> that's all we get. That's all inspire for me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get started. Alright. Alright, so we're starting on Yoshi's, which is pretty good for, for Yoshi uh, to get the, get the ball rolling, mm -hmm. get the, uh, blow off the platforms, and uh, get uh, get combo starters from a uh, you know, change of pace off the platform. So you can choose to not approach, and then, like, you know, uh, you know uh, double pump, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, Falco is also pretty good here because it gets early KOs uh, any from Falco. any normal hit. <laughs> yeah, like any any strong hit that's not super armored is going to kill a lot earlier. Mm -hmm. That's going to that can hinder Yoshi a bit. Um, but if uh, Yingling has like normal Falco timing, then uh, parries are going to be really devastating. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kali has gotten pretty good at those. I also think the combo game against Yoshi is pretty good. It's like um. It's like a bigger version of Sheik, I feel like, the weight. I could be wrong, but <laughs> that's, how, that's how it feels like. I've played this matchup Maybe. against Tommy. The problem is, like, Yo uh, Falco likes to do a lot of pseudo combos, too. Like, where yeah. you like, kind of delay the down air so you get the, a better hit, so you get a better follow-up. Mm -hmm. And the super armor can definitely mess with that. Um, if he eats the hit while with super armor and then counter hits with a neutral air at the right time, then you could be without a jump, uh, kind of randomly. So, have had the presence of mind as Falco to know, like, alright, so this is a true combo, this is not a true combo. Yeah. I'm um, gonna have to be very careful with uh, when I want to use my double jump to extend the combo. Yes. Otherwise, though, yeah, you're, I would agree. He, he basically just kind of... Uh, Yoshi is around that, that weight uh, weight class um, in NTSC. Um, On the other hand, though, um, Yoshi also has a pretty good combo game, if you can get going. It's, yeah, it's a lot harder, I would say. <laughs> Um, Yoshi's combos. Kinda, yeah. It mostly is gonna revolve around like four layers of the big one, but just getting that new early, uh, early percent neutral air mm -hmm. can lead into big things. And then there's lots of pseudo combos that Yoshi has, where he has like a uh, basically think of it as kind of a uh, combo reset, where he go then goes for DJC up air um, inside your shield, and then forward tilt to pop you up. And if you get hit by either one of those things, then you can you know Yoshi gets all kinds of money. Mm -hmm. And uh, anytime Yoshi gets you off stage, you know as Falco. It's gonna be a little bit rough. Ooh, get him with the dash attack. He's yeah, gonna live though. Attack. Oh, ooh. Ooh, that was risky. Yeah, that was super risky. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't die though, so it ended up working out. <laughs> yeah. So that dash attack is really strong because uh, if if Falco tried to rise with uh, with uh, rising lasers, Yoshi's head is invincible during the dash attack, and so that would make it extremely unsafe. Yeah. We were actually talking about that. I was asking Tommy about that because Yoshi also has like this weird thing where his head like extends out, especially on like a. On his getup attack as well. It's really weird, but we were talking about the invincibility on that. And that's actually pretty nuts. Oh no, <laughs> tournament winner. Definitely, Kali's in a lot of trouble this game one. Ooh, he could have just held, but he didn't hey, react. Oh, oh no, Yoshi, Yoshi's heavy. Oh, he comes with down. the Timbos. But he crouches it, down smashes. <laughs> Takes game one. This is a best of five, by the way, because of winner semis. Ah, okay. Yeah. So it's ready for the long con. Yeah, Kali can play the long game. Um, I would say, yeah, I. I agree with this. Nick told me that he doesn't particularly like this stage. And I think Tommy has a comfortable enough movement where you can kind of overwhelm him on this stage. Yeah, that's probably fair. 
The only downside is that at certain points uh, he loses the platforms, but I mean, small price to pay for getting the super low ones now that it kind of extend his uh, approach options. Yeah. <laughs> Recovery. Oh, <laughs> double partial. And dominate shield drops. Here we go, the right. pinwheel. And one more for with? Oh, I would have dared to that. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, um, I figured that there was going to be another neutral way, but it's down smash thing is going to stay on the platform, but mm -hmm. the slide off. Too good. Do we trade with Super Yeah. Yep. Tommy was saying that he um he needs to work on his super armor usage. Like it's, he said it's kind of hard to find moments that's, to apply it, and that's that's, that's one a of big the hardest thing. Hardest things to practice. <laughs> yeah, it just takes time and like, experience. I have to know when people want to try to hit me, and then everyone's gonna have different timings. And yeah. But if you get it down, then that can definitely throw out uh, throw off a lot of people once you get a read on when people like to push buttons. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. What's he gonna do? Down air, down smash? Oh, uh, what was that up smash? Uh, <laughs> little question. He was just trying to feel himself and <laughs> it's like I have to go for the finisher. Everyone does that in combo videos. <laughs> <laughs> nice, that was a good shield smash. <laughs> I wonder if that down smash was it looked like it was, but Dude, not he sure catches if that him. was the best move. Alright, so I pretty close game. Um, I guess he hits with it. Well, I thought he might just like clap uh, a ledge cancel down air off that, but it's probably not that good. Yeah. I would like to see it. <laughs> Ooh, the, the delayed near. Missed shield drop. <laughs> Waiting for the parry. Yeah, that's it. Usually uh, that's a pretty big tell for not just, uh, not just Kali, but Yoshi players. Like, just crouching. crouching <laughs> yeah. They're looking to, they're looking to try to parry on you. That's they where you need, go in with... I don't think they need to crouch at all to parry. They just are looking to do it. Just also for the easy power shields, because they want to do both. Mm -hmm. They want to, like, power shield and then try to parry the uh, approach option. Oh, no. Ooh. It gets caught with that 4B. Does um, crouching make it easier to land the parry, or is it... Um, I think it's mostly for the power shield against lasers. Oh, I see. Okay. So, like, at the laser, usually they shoot him at, like, head height. So he's <laughs> crouching. And then uh, if the laser goes over Yoshi's head at all, it's, like, basically an automatic power shield since it comes out frame one. Similar to the Marth uh, Samus power shield trick, as well as you, it works on Falco too. Oh, okay. Anytime a missile flies over Mars' head when he's crouching, he can just shield at any time, and it will guarantee a power shield. Interesting. I didn't know that. And I guess that could technically be used with every character, but uh, usually you wouldn't get in the class where you have like the you know the better crouches. Mm -hmm. And Marth is basically at that that sweet spot. Marth and Roy at that sweet spot where their their crouch is effective for for doing that. Yeah. And everyone who has a higher crouch than that might struggle a little bit because then they'll be at still be at laser height if they're crouching. Right. That's actually really interesting. I didn't know that. <laughs> All right, so we're on FD. It's good counter pick against Goshi to avoid platform stuff. Doesn't really get the movement options that he yeah. gets with platform. I mean, combos can be devastating, but but it's kind of hard to get, get the started, yeah, it's hard especially to get against Falco. Exactly. The same it is for, for everyone, but especially for Yoshi, because he um, doesn't quite have uh, as many tools to really get the ball rolling as like you know, other characters do. Mm -hmm. Oh, back your trades. Oh, gets an egg. Yeah. Eggs right, are we claimed, absurd. We a lot of state. Yeah, like, um, <laughs> we're really lucky that Yoshis don't just love ledge stall and throw eggs indefinitely most of them eventually come on stage yes uh, otherwise we'd um, to eat like 10% yeah, each time and cheeks, so we'd have to worry about like ledge grabbing rules and stuff because because it'd be uh, they can yeah they could be really annoying with it like the only characters that can effectively stop stuff like that are basically just the top tiers <laughs> who have quick uh, ledge ledge grab options mm -hmm. and invincible uh, ledge recovery options Nice down smash. Alright. He wins it up, but is down 102%. Oh, lost his jump. Down at full code. stock now. Yeah, that sucks. Um, Some things I've noticed. Ooh, nice. Parry, but then the delayed uh, forward air. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um, I just noticed that Tommy kind of like... He doesn't really play the high percent game that well. He, I see him blowing his double jump a lot, and then Nick's kind of catching him, and I think that's happened a lot this set. Yeah, he I just needs to be a little more safer. Like play more ground neutral, maybe. Yeah, when he gets a uh, when he gets ahead or brings it back, he definitely should uh, look to pay a little bit more carefully and just look to take the free percent that Nick's giving him, so he doesn't just effectively lose the stock with zero. Excited there, right? That has been happening a lot. I like how he tried to call it the out of shield option or the jump out of shield with a neutral B. 
Oh no, Shine was enough to break the armor. Yeah, uh, Falco's Shine is absurd. It actually insta breaks the armor even at zero. Wait, oh, wait, what? Really? I believe so. Huh. It might not be at zero, but it's yeah, it's like at a lower it's at a lower it's percent, zero. I would say. Yeah, I don't think it's at zero, but it is it is much stronger. Oh no, oh. it got caught slipping. All right, three stock. That was a good counter pick, of course. Yeah, Cali didn't get the invincible egg throws. He has a little bit of a delay on him to make sure that he doesn't SD, but by doing that, got clipped with four B and dies anyway. I'm assuming we're going to Dreamland, if not Battlefield. Yeah, Dreamland would make a lot of sense, but Battlefield also does too. Yeah. Uh, Battlefield's a little bit better because uh, Falco doesn't get to run as easily. Yeah, and uh, plus Yoshi doesn't really have options to get the top platform on Dreamland as easily, I would say. Yeah. And Falco can just jumble there with one jump, so. And then uh, they, the boost of recovery isn't as effective um, since you know, most of the time Falco can just, you know, has a lot of good tools to break super armor anyway. Mm -hmm. And uh, like from what we see in these stocks, a lot of these, a lot of these aren't gonna, uh, a lot of these deaths aren't coming from uh, you know being at too high percent. They just tend to be like getting hit with the wrong, uh, getting hit, getting caught with the wrong DI, and running into running into things you shouldn't. Oh, oh he messes it up. DJC up there, yeah, yeah. sure. Oh, it doesn't get anything there he wanted. I think he wanted another... Did you see up arrow? I wasn't sure if he wanted that or grab. He was close to getting that down smash. I think Nick just got the fast fall just in time. That neutral air was really risky. I'm not sure if that meant to be a back here. But got away I'm in it. the corner. Oh, Ooh. big lay. Ooh, he doesn't match out. to his death. I don't know if Nick knows how to do anything about that. Uh, I don't think he's like, been in that interaction before. That's most unfortunate <laughs> for him. <laughs> he's just going to mash out and jump. <laughs> for those of you that don't know. Yeah, you can wiggle out. It's pretty good. And you also can even choose, like, if you're really worried about getting gimps, you can just hold in. And I believe you can just land on stage with it anyway. Yeah. Um, that way you can take your time. Because uh, you do take you take reduced damage when you're in the egg lay. So even though if he hits you with a bunch of heavy stuff, it's going to do, like, I think half damage or something to that effect. Ooh, I would like to see a down smash right there. <coughs> yeah, I think it's going to respect it. Oh, no. This set's been weird. They're uh, just kind of destroying each other on their respective stages. Yeah, I suppose. I <laughs> uh, kind of feel like uh, Tally is kind of beating himself, and then Yingling is just kind of playing solid. Yeah. Oh, there it is. That's the power the auto, auto power shield. Uh, that was kind of. I feel like that was a little bit of an easy edge guard. He just kind of didn't commit to anything. And there's the down smash. And so the Kali now with a pretty effective lead now. But Falco, you know, doesn't have to get hit or anything. <laughs> yeah, he could just laser all day. And goes for up air and gets it clean. So now he has to make a two-stock comeback, which is yes. entirely feasible. In fact, I think Yingling did that game one. Yes. Are you familiar with the Nick Yingling factor? No, I'm not. It's whenever Nick or just anybody reverse three-stock somebody, and he was in prime position for that. And let's see if he can make it happen. <laughs> it's just a stupid inside joke. <laughs> let's see. Oh. Trades, but benefit Yoshi. No follow up, so Yoshi in a lot of trouble. Oh, missed his wave land. Put a gun on the punish. Oh, it gets him on the ground. Oh, doesn't get the forward air. Or did you see neutral air? That's it, Eight. I want to say. Back air and the tempo. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> the tempo. <laughs> Ooh, he's thinking. Um, I'm guessing Pokemon. Yeah. Maybe Dreamland. I think Nick would want to go Dreamland, maybe, because he he wants the space. Well, Guess not. I've been wrong. <laughs> Alright. Use your KOs off the top. That is true. Kali always likes to color code this Yoshi, I think. <laughs> How do you feel like Yoshi fa fares on the stage? I'm not too sure, um, to be honest. I think it's not too bad, because, uh, well, I mean, side platforms are in good position to where they can reach uh, most people, even if uh, Fonzo are center stage. <laughs> and, um... KOing, uh, though Yoshi doesn't KO off the top very often, um, I don't think it hurts that much, and uh, top platform is nice, usually with a lot of mid-tiers um, and low-tiers, top platform camping can be really, really annoying, and I think even the same for Yoshi, um, even though Yoshi can technically try to do it, um, I think it still benefits Yoshi by not having that top platform that people can exploit. Mm -hmm. It's good neutral air. I thought he was going to up there for a second. Gets the edge guard. Alright, if Tommy can hold this stock, he'll be in a good position to take this set, but if he gets, if he keeps it even, it might be, it's a little scary. And I think that's it. Yeah, no, you should build an air dodge. Ooh, that was a good edge guard. Yeah. Yep. Or good 
Air dodge, rather. Right to our egg throws to get some percentage. Oh no, that was... Yeah. That was a uh, big flub there. Goes for egg lay, but then gets uh, his hands tied. Ooh, Four nice. Ooh, he lands the tech, though. Yeah, those are those little tricky resets. Because uh, I basically have, like, tech traps. Yeah. Falco stuff. Nice. Oh, head invincibility. That yeah. is enough to beat the down air. Right timing. But Callie does not capitalize on that. And uh, counter hits. Yeah. <laughs> Callie finally getting that super armor counter hit. Yeah, Nick's been on double jump down airing a bunch, so we just kind of called him out right there and then got yeah. it. But now it's even. <laughs> yeah, uh, Kali wanted to get that neutral air, but he was just like LOL forward smash. I'm like, uh, <laughs> my level, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Oh, nice up airs. <laughs> got a lot of damages on that, but. Close Ooh, that's does. it. No tech. All right, Nick's in a bad position now. Looking like Tommy might take this unless Nick can close this out with a nice combo. There's a tail whip. There's a parry. That was yeah. a little too obvious. All right, he might be able to close this. As long if he as closes it, he's still in it. Ooh, that might be he's it. The grab ledge. Oh, Ooh, he doesn't get the map. He doesn't get the. He could have wiggled. Yeah, yeah all wiggle. you need to do is just a simple left-right input. You don't even have to like wiggle. Like you don't have to like do anything special. It's just left, right, and you're out. <laughs> Ooh, rock transformation is kind of. Oh. <gasps> I don't think I, I want him down here. That's kind of oh, risky, but he nice. still gets it. And there it is with the three-two. Three-two. Close set. Game five. Yeah, that was pretty tight. Pretty good showing from Nick. He was.